In news from Iran, 29 people were killed and at least 70 wounded when four gunmen dressed in military uniform attacked a military parade in the southwestern city of Avaz Saturday. The dead included military personnel, civilians and a journalist. ISIS and a Saudi-backed separatist group called Avaz National Resistance both claimed responsibility for the attack. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani placed blame on the United States and Gulf states, including Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The small puppet countries that we see in the region are backed by America, and the United States is provoking them and giving them the necessary capabilities to commit these crimes. Tension between the United States and Iran is escalating ahead of this week's U.N. General Assembly, where both Rouhani and Trump will speak. On Wednesday, Trump is chairing a U.N. Security Council briefing on counterproliferation. He's expected to use the meeting to single out Iran. Meanwhile, Trump's one of Trump's top attorneys, Rudolf Giuliani, addressed an Iranian opposition group called the National Council of Resistance of Iran on Saturday. The group is tied to the MEK, which was once considered a terrorist organization by the United States. Giuliani openly backed the overthrow of the Iranian government. We don't know when we're going to overthrow them. It could be in a few days, months, a couple of years, but it's going to happen. They are going to be overthrown.